Hello everyone, this is Riley Sky 100 or some of you know me as Gabriel, which is my actual first name. So whichever you want to call me is uh, fine. And um, I don't want to keep you around for too long, so I'm hoping this video is going to be like about 10 minutes or so because um, I do want to give a bit of an update on what's going on with me and why I haven't been really active lately. And um, excuse me if I sound uh, different because I am still like a recovering uh, from a severe sore throat I've had since last Monday. And um, that was because it was really raining and my work uh, wanted me to go out and do some outside work, which was terrible because my nose is rather big and the rain was got on it easily. So I'm at the point where I stopped coughing violently and um, my throat still hurts a bit when I, when I swallow, but it's still... I'm still recovering nonetheless, but I can't really do any high-pitched uh, notes from my voice at the moment, so... Ex like, uh, but that's not like the only thing why I haven't been active recently on my channel, because I'm still at my uh, college at University of Massachusetts, and um, I'm not going to give away which uh, location it is, because... for private reasons. Um, that's because, like, I haven't been really active on my channel lately is because I've been catching up on some work and also like working on my finals for my classes because I'm graduating in May and I'm actually in my uh, bachelor's in journalism and professional writing uh, concentration as well as a minor in graphic design and um, it's going along really well. Um, one of the finals I have right now is sitting right behind me with the robe I'm crafting. It's supposed to be an I knew uh, a tush robe, but I'll get into more of that some other time, and um, along with a couple of other things. So that's been eating a lot of my time, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of that this weekend. Um, hopefully, by the end of this week, by this Saturday, I will be able to get a lot of stuff done to catch up on my last plays and reviews. If my voice is better by that point, that is so. And also that I'm not congested in my nose because I really hate that. But yeah, that's the reason why I've been not really active uh, recently. Though I've been trying to get around to post some of the videos that I haven't uh, posted yet. Like Ratchet and Clank and Castlevania and Kingdom Hearts. Which I'm going to be getting around to do the Reverse Rebirth uh, really soon. As soon as my, as soon as my uh, throat is uh, better. But... Yeah, see that? And um, I'm thinking about buying like a humidifier for myself so that I won't have to sniff so much when I'm doing a Let's Plays because I really hate like editing all them out. It's just really ridiculous. You wouldn't believe how much I have to edit in just one one video for an hour long video. But anyways, um, another thing I want to talk about is like uh, things I've been uh, hearing on the internet recently, mainly with uh, Channel Awesome. Now, if you don't know what Channel Awesome is, it's um, basically this uh, independent run uh, video, like collaboration uh, group based on a lot of uh, well-known uh, reviewers and producers and such, mainly with, the, with uh, Doug Walker as the nostalgia critic, which um, I've known since the Angry Video Game Nerd from that collaboration. So. I've, and it, I was like liking those videos up until last month, I, like no earlier this month because uh, a lot of things have come out recently with um, a lot of uh, former producers uh, leaving uh, Channel Awesome because of a lot of crap that was happening while they were at Channel Awesome, especially with the big guys head up like Doug Walker, his brother Rob, and uh, Mike Michaud. I think that's it, how you pronounce his last name, but... I don't know. Um, I was. Uh, I remember, like a few years ago, like one of my friends said, like, uh, you know, I could actually try to get you to be part in some small way on Channel Awesome, and I don't. And I never really heard much from that since. And I don't know why, because my uh, reviews weren't really good at the time. But and I think one of the big the guys had head up, and um, I'm not going to mention the name. Uh, thought I was complete shit, but 
Anyways, um, there was a lot of people on like this uh, document that they put for the Google uh, Docs. It's a really elaborate. I, for the most part, I've read through it, and it's really um, it's really um. Oh jeez, what's the word I'm looking for? Deplorable. Uh, what they had to go through, and I really feel sorry for all of them. It, I mean, all of them. Even for those that didn't contribute to the docu to the document, they have posted their own videos, like uh, John Page, as you know, as uh, Smarticus, who's uh, part of the Derp Crew. And um, up until that point, I thought he was like just this comedic ass cl ass clown that you just laugh at for his own stupidity, but. Hearing his side of the story, it's just, I really feel bad for him, but, and the response is, response that everyone got from, like, uh, Channel Awesome, like, mainly from, written by either Mike or Rob, saying that we are sorry that we made you, that you ever felt this way, something like that, which I thought, wow, they, that's not an apology at all. I, and I've heard that kind of, a, that kind of blanket apology before, and it's, it doesn't heal any wounds. And they came out with another response, attacking all these other producers with their complaints. It's just like going through specific ones they think is worth, like, countering, though it doesn't really help their case much. Which leads me into another thing that I felt really uh, horrific, hor horrified about. Because um, one of the things, I think it was like Rob Walker that wrote that our response thing. And um, someone, uh, I think it was named like Jane Doe or something. It's usually a name that women go put on themselves so they don't want to identify themselves in fear of repercussions when it comes to like sexual harassment or allegations or abuse and such or worst cases, but there was like this thing that was brought up about like having a sexual predator that was on Channel Awesome and um, from the text messages that they shown, I don't want to believe that they're actual text messages because anyone can uh, create something like that in that format, but first, but it's interesting with that like text message, they blinked out the name of a particular individual and um, the time frame that was like taking place was like around uh, February of 2013 and um, there were all about talks how they were going to arrange uh, getting in touch with that person and how it was going to be dealt with and um, and when they let that person go it was like saying yeah he's gone so you don't have to worry about it anymore which and they didn't reveal the name, and I believe that might be for legal reasons, which I can understand. But many were quick to catch on to those days because it was really suspicious. Because for some reason, now I'll never understand why, Rob Walker decided to make public some of those dates, which pretty much mirrored that of the departure of... Justin Carmichael, and um, if you, who it was better known as Juwario. Now, for those of you who don't know, Juwario was like this uh, YouTube personality on YouTube. Uh, his main go-to thing was like reviewing um, Japanese uh, titles that whether and whether or not they'd be uh, fun for you to play without like whether or not you know Japanese. And they were really good. Um, I actually remember subscribing to him back in like late October of 2013. And then almost three months later, he uh, committed suicide as a result of a depression that he uh, went through. And um, at that time, it was really uh, so much to take. I mean, I never knew him personally. I never worked with him professionally. But from at that point, point in time, I imagine he was a really, really well-respected individual, and it was just like really upsetting for a lot of people that he took his life, and I know what that, and I know what he was going through, like depression is not an easy thing to go through, it could be caused by a lot of things, mine was caused because my parents separated when I was like about 10 years old, and it left a really big scar on my life, like, 
I'm not gonna really go into it, but it's just real. It's just something that I wouldn't wish upon my worst enemy. There we go. So yeah, with the sniffles. <laughs> but fast forward to a few weeks ago, the information started to come up, which all but confirm that Justin Carmichael was indeed the sexual predator who committed these. Uh, really heinous acts, sexual acts, which is really, which is really messed up. Um, I'm not going to go into detail what has been described and what the allegations are, and I believe all those uh, allegations, by the way, and if you want to know all the details, I suggest going to the Social Injustice uh, Warriors uh, video. He put a lot of information, crucial information into what happened and what the stories came up and what happened as a result. But, and I remember when Justin passed away, about a week or two later, I made a video review of Airwolf from Famicom, and by the end of the video, I put in a tribute to Justin, and now, because of all this came out, I don't know what to think. I, I can guarantee you there's very few people defending uh, Justin at this point, and it's really horrific because it makes me upset because he's not alive to answer to all of these allegations because he's dead. And it makes you wonder whether or not he committed suicide for other reasons besides depression, which again is really sickening, but but the question I face to myself is whether or not I should take down that video and edit out the tribute and repost it as is. And then so, um, I got in touch with my friend uh, Carbia Yuan, who is known himself as a hardcore gaming god or something. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, I'm sorry, but he's a really nice person, even though he he's pretty much my Wikipedia for everything about gaming. But I asked him what I should do, and he said to just leave it as is because that's how I felt at the time and uh, I don't know I I feel like I need more of an opinion on this because I just don't know whether or not I should take down that video like, there's other people out there that are debating whether or not to edit their videos to remove any trace of Justin Carmichael from their from their playlist it's um I just don't know uh, what to say about this. It's just really hurtful. I really hate Justin for this, but then again, I don't know what he went through as a child or as a teenager, and not to go so much into the psychological things, but it's just, I remember what my grandmother told me one time, it's like, it, it all starts in the house. And um, I don't know what Justin went through growing up as a child and how it trans how it affected his adulthood but I'm not going I'm not like I'm don't get me wrong I am not defending his actions at all and I believe those allegations I really do because in this day and age a lot of people are coming out with these stories of like taking down those men that have so much power over women which it shouldn't be anymore and I'm glad for that and I understand why these victims didn't want to come out initially when Justin passed away and such because they were going to be they were going to be fired on upon by a lot of people that would quickly defend uh, Justin I would have been one of those people years ago if I heard something like that but me taking uh, so many uh, feminism classes at college and such and having a better structured common sense, it's just not like that for me anymore. I'm not like that typical jock person or a fraternity, but yeah, I just don't know what else to say about the matter, but, but I really do hope Justin's victims find some sort of closure because they're never going to find a complete closure because he's dead. He's not going to answer any of these allegations. So, I just don't know 
what I should do, and it really um, disgusted me of what he did. And again, I'm not going to bring up any of the details of what happened, but needless to say, it's really, really bad. So that's it from my standpoint. I just wanted to get my thoughts out as soon as I could, even though I'm a bit late to the party. I'm sorry, everyone, but I just want to give you a heads up of what's happening to me and what I'm doing right now and what I'm doing in the future. And I'm, I am continuing on doing Let's Plays and such, but I need to get like a better uh, system. I need like a MacBook Pro with a lot of uh, speed to it because rendering videos on my Lenovo Z585 is a pain in the ass. But I'll get more into that some other time. So with all that being said, I will catch you all later.